going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, super exciting episode for you guys. So buckle up, get ready. It's going to be exciting. But I've got to let you guys know that there's still a few more items in stock for the new beefcake drop. Most of it is sold out, and I apologize. Like I said, once it's sold out, it is sold out for good. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we got beefcake merch. We got big lawn guy. If you're a big lawn guy like me, get yourself a big lawn guy hat we got shirts we got hoodies a bunch of different designs like i said a lot of them unfortunately have sold out but there's still some left and if you guys don't know what the deal is i'm giving away my personal ten thousand dollar atv to one of you guys who snags some merch every dollar that you spend automatically enters you into winning the ten thousand dollar atv so if you're not entered already click the link down below if you're already entered but want some additional entries like i said there's not many products left so it's like if you have already bought some stuff and you're thinking maybe let's snag one more hat one more sure it's it's gonna really help because once everything's sold out there's not gonna be any more additional entries once everybody's entered is when i'm announcing the winner i'm gonna announce that winner probably here in the next week or so either right when we sell out which i'm assuming is going to be soon because like i said there's not many products left or it's probably going to be closer to the end of july at the end of this month is kind of when i'm planning on announcing it my personal 10,000 ITV is yours here are the keys so click the link down below if you guys want to go check it out if you haven't already if you have and you want to add some additional entries go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. So anyways, I had to let you guys know there's still a few more items. If you haven't picked them up or you had, just kind of giving you guys some information. When you guys want to win the ATV, click the link down below. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Oh, land ho, folks. Brace yourself now. Vans, don't fall out. Shoo! Up on the lock. Welcome back, folks. We are on the river. We are at a brand new spot that we've never been to. Complete. I mean, it's probably 100 miles away from where we've been catching them kitty cats. We were like, let's try some different place on the river. Maybe uh, we're floating away, aren't we? I know. I'm trying to figure out what I can grab. That looks like the world's strongest tree. You got it. Sheesh! Been in the gym or what, buddy? Oh, yeah. Goodness. Like I said, we're trying a new spot today. We don't know if it's gonna be any good. We got some dead shad that we got from Beamer. Um, we're gonna cut up, which is what we got them for. He said, I'm getting in. I got Crocs, I ain't, I ain't worried about it. Tie us up to that tree right there. So we're doing some catfishing. New spot, who dis? There's a chance we'll see some fish to shoot too. We might run out of bait. If we find enough cool places to put lines, we might end up, we brought the boat regardless. So if we see some cool fish to shoot, we might shoot them, but it's totally different. Cause like we've only bank line fished one stretch of river, like a 25 mile stretch. I mean, now that I think about it, we're probably like close to 200 miles probably away from our other spot i mean we're, yeah, we're actually probably pretty far so this is the first spot we're picking there's a wing dike that goes out there and it's actually not that deep there but we went back and like right where the boat motors back when it's back here was like 15 foot and actually the river was like six foot so we're thinking looks like a cove to me that's the plan today we're setting some bank lines we don't know we're gonna we're gonna catch it's one of those things like you catch a giant blue i mean my buddy trapper jay was actually just fishing similar to where i've been fishing on previous years and he caught like an 85 pound blue the potential for a river monster is there do we have the expertise to land a fish like that no but it would be it'd be cool for the video so it's freaking hot out here i'm like bacon bacon in the sun right now i'm sweating oh, my, my, my butt's wet or something so in here we got some little sh shatty which is what we're going to be using for bait so we're doing the pvc strat you guys have already seen it. we got pvc yeah. pipes and then oh did we we didn't bring a mallet so hopefully you got beefcake strength yeah, see, I was just gonna say you could use the back of the weight like a caveman. I got a pan here if you want to smack it with a pan, but yeah, I definitely took that hammer out. Anyway, so yeah, you take a PVC pipe, you shove it in the mud, and then you put a clip on it, and then you run your line out. And we're gonna have like three or four hooks, sometimes six hooks per a line, and then just have a bunch of cut up shad. Look at that boat. What do you think he's doing out here on the river? I don't know that specific boat, but those boats are like 100 G's easily. You hear it? Yeah, it's, it's that fast. Sir, sir, could you quiet down? I'm trying to make a video. Anyways, why you would take that on the nasty river, I have no idea. Like, that's a boat for like the Ozarks, okay? Th this is not a river boat, but listen, buddy's gonna flex one way or another. Anyways, that's kind of the plan. We'll give you guys a quick rundown, set lines on the river. Do you guys already kind of know the strategy? We'll walk you through our strategies and our tactics, kind of show what we're using. I'm hoping we can find a fish to shoot or two. That way we got a little bit more bait to work with hopefully and then we'll come back you guys know the drill we'll come back tomorrow we'll check them we rebate them if we don't have anything hopefully we catch some mondo so we can do a catch clean cook that's pretty much the plan so let's get to baiting banjo you like sushi there you go there's that hey if we don't catch anything we turn this into a survival challenge Ooh, i should have brought some gloves or something my hands are gonna stank Ugh. all right we're gonna cut that tail off we don't need that guy i think a shad's probably one of the better baits you could probably use so what we're gonna do is just take it you get that at a five-star sushi restaurant cash like 50 bucks look at that thing Give her a slice like that. 
Oh yeah. Three hooks? Yep. I'd say that's pretty good. I mean, we got one small one and two, I mean, two good sized ones. I feel like we would have a chance of catching big mega. We might have enough bait. I don't know. I think we got three or four of these suckers in there. Depends how many lines we have. Like I said, if we see some fish to shoot, I do kind of want to shoot them. So we got our bait. Banjo's up there shoving a stick in the ground using his beefcake strength. Yeah, I forgot the mallet, but I believe in you. you trust it? Hard ground. I got it in a little. Look free. That's what she said. Both the hammers out. We used to have two in here. I can find something for you. I have a pan. Nice catch. Let's see it. I mean, it worked. He looks like a caveman, like trying to figure out how to live dishes. life. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you, you look good. You look good. You ready? Yep. So Ban just taking that clip, clipping it on that post, and I'll give it a tuggy. We'll see what happens here. All right, Banjo, I'm the 85 pound blue that you're gonna get. <sighs> Pass that test. Let's get the bait. Take your big old hook, shove it. Oh yeah, there we go. Just like that. So we've got three lines on this one. This is the deepest and that was the shallowest and we've got a middle one. I feel like we don't consistently catch them on like one or the other, like deep or shallow. I think it's just like whatever that fish is feeling that day. We try to treat them kind of all equally. These hooks are probably a little on the big side for them channels, but you just never know when that 85 pound blue's coming in. So we're, we're always prepared for the worst in case we do get big mega dongle there. But I think we're gonna have pretty good luck. So that's the first set. Three hooks in this little shallow cut. I'm burning up. It oh, is yeah. hot it's today. It's, it's like there's just no wind right here. Yeah. You're good to shove us off, I think. Alrighty. I get out of mud. Yeah, you got it. Oh, your dad for sure. I know. There's no this? way. There's no way you're getting up. You might have to leave. You check out checking on the in the morning. Use it up for body strength. <laughs> yeah, I knew you're a beast. I'll give you this. I'm gonna throw it, put it in reverse, Terry, and use feeder on out. You good? Yep. I'll probably swing the front end to the left. Okay. Second hook is out. We'll try to shoot straight into the river. Okay. Ready? Yep. Shoo! 14 that's, foot and there's a bunch of fish down there. That's nice and deep. That's going to be a good one. Go ahead and hit Mark. Let's go find the next spot. Well, we made it to Party Cove, folks. Apparently, there's like a billion people out here today. We're dealing with a bunch of boaters, but this spot looks decent. It's a giant, giant beach, and it goes out to like 25 foot. It's hard trying new spots like this. This is like for pleasure boaters. This ain't really what we've been used to. We're dealing with a lot of different aspects of fishing than what we're used to, but it's all right. I say we set one out and get a sixer, and we're gonna run it all the way out there. Maybe we'll catch a big one. You about died four times. That current just took it really far right in there. Rip. That was like a two out of 10 kind of spot. All right, spot number three. This one I think will be all right. We got to get a long string on it, but we're going to put it off one of these like pillars. These coves just aren't as deep. And that doesn't mean there's not fish. We're just used to setting 15 to 25 foot, basically bowls on the inside of these little wing dams. All of them are like 10 foot, eight foot, five foot, seven foot. I don't know if there's fish in here or not because we've never been here. So this is a deeper set. If we go with a long line, I think we can get out to about 20 foot. Might be our best bet for big shield. Boom. She's marked, folks. I like that one. That was the deepest one by far. I think we were chilling in that 20 to 17 foot range. If we're gonna catch a big one, my guess is probably right there. The question is, do you wanna put another one in that pocket up there or do you wanna just go to a different spot? We could try it. It wasn't as deep. Why don't we go up and if we don't find anything more, we don't go too far up river, we can always hit it on the way back. I marked it. That's only line number three. Slow and steady. Once we have to relearn the river here, find some new spots, but it might be worth it. Might find big Sheila, so stay tuned. All righty, folks, spot number four pulling in. It looks just like the last one. We've got some wood pilings here. It's only seven foot right here, but there's like 20 out the back of the boat over there, about 10 more feet back. We're going for big shields here. We're going after, oh, hey, how you doing? Land ho. To me, the big ones live out deep. Let's cut up some more bait.
Spot number four, done. That was a long daddy, we're going big and only. <sighs> you think we should head south? I'm not feeling the north vibe. We set four up north, maybe we'll set two or three down south by close to like the boat ramp or so. We gotta learn this river. It's like a new challenge coming up here. We already know the other river, we catch fish, it's easy peasy. We, got, we were challenging ourselves, so let's head south. South was the way, folks. Should have trusted my gut. Found a 20 foot deep hole off a huge piling that shoots straight out. And look at all these fish down there. It's loaded. It's loaded, Banjo. Let's just set it on one of these middle pilings and shoot it out because right now I'm in nine and then out there we're in 12 and it went down to 20 right in this middle. So let's shoot off the straight piling and run it that way. We're in eight now. Get Big Mac Daddy. This is going to be a good one. I think we found it, folks. 20 foot. That's what I'm talking about. This is going to be a good hole. We're putting big lines out only for biggins only. No shorties today. We've literally only put out like 100 plus footers. 13 foot right here, but right behind the boat is about 20. So let's get the last one set out and should be good to go. Hold on, sugar. Why you look so sad? Come on now. Own it now, folks. That's gonna have big Sheila on it. That is my favorite one so far. 28 feet of water in a nice little slack pool right off the main river. Six hooks down there, big old chunks of shad. Now you let them marinate overnight. We will see you guys in the morning. We made it back out, folks. It's hotter than hell out here. We are at the first spot on the north end. We weren't feeling it. We were feeling the south end by the end of the day, but this might have big shield. All of them are pretty much long daddies. First one, we went all the way north, and we're just gonna work our way south. I think we have six lines in total. Hopefully, we get big shield. But no matter what, we brought stuff to cook whatever we catch on the boat. We have the pan, we got a cooker, we got oil, we got batter. You got a massive deck on this boat for a reason, so we can actually do catch and cooks on the actual boat itself. That's kind of the plan. See what we pull up. Oh, she's moving. Alright, here we go, boys. Oh, biggin! Giant! 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 Dude, giant! I'm, I'm talking about head shaker, dude. Head shaker. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Let's go, buddy! First set! Heck yeah! Get out of here, dude! No way! Easy. Big Sheila. Dude, there might be two. There might be two. Oh my god. There gosh. might be two. You getting her? Yeah. Easy, easy. I'm, th I'm thinking there might be two. Alright, I'm just gonna swing her. I'm gonna swing her. Okay. Drop her. There's got to be another one. It's either another big one or a snag. Let's see. We're bringing something in. Nothing on that. There's it's deep if there is something. Dude, there's something. It's not shaking, but we're bringing something in. 1,000%. Oh, it came under. Oh, we're clean. We got one bait. Let's see. Is that the last hook? That's it. We got one though, dude. Dude, we thought this was going to be cheeks up I here thought too. it was brutal. We got cleaned off everything but one. All the hooks were empty. Look at Big Sheila. What dude. are you doing, Junior? Good eater. Oh, big one-eye wonder guy. Look at that guy. He's blinded by the light, literally. He can't see nothing. Sheesh. Heck yeah. Let's go. I think that's a uh, little blue. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not even a channel. Then we'll eat good. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. First one. We were like, let's go to the north end because we probably don't have anything. Let's get this out of the way. We might be eating good. We might be. All right. Well, we brought a trash scan for buddy so see you later dude one down we're eating lunch now we got we, I, i'm now i'm chilling yeah, the rest the, are for fun the rest are bonus yeah so hopefully we get another big we did four on the north and two on the south yeah so we've got three more you guys stay tuned pulling up spot number two this is right downstream from the other one i feel like since we caught one on the other one there's a good chance we'll get one on this one. Oh, we got a homemade yeah, live you gotta show them our live well buddy's big chilling in the bucket oh, yeah. if we catch like a smaller eater channel i don't i want to eat him don't get me wrong but like again we're not here just like slay we just want l enough for lunch he's more than enough for lunch so if we catch a nice small channel we might swap him out we'll just we'll have to kind of see how it goes how many Three. Three? Yeah, I'm feeling confident about this one. One blue and two channels. Nudge me forward, I'm gonna hook onto this big staple. Good? All right, yep, yeah, you're good. All right, Banjo, give it a tug. What we got on there, Big Sheila? Maybe, it's gonna be deep if it is. It's feeling- You feel any tugs or no? No tugs yet. Really? There's something though. Yeah. It might just be snagged, but I'll get us a little closer. Snag? Uh, it's snagged, I think. No! Yeah. See if you can give that a big old tug. Oh, maybe, there you go. <sighs> you know, she might just be a thousand pounds, I don't know. 
Oh, there we go. There you go. You got it? Not feeling anything. No? We have yet to see a hook yet. Yeah, I know. This was long, long. This was long. Okay, nothing on the first hook. Anything on the second no. one? Feeling light so far. Nothing. We're getting robbed out here, though. wonder if the shad's coming off too easy. Nothing on the third one. They munched. Bunch of thieves. They're a bunch of thieves are stealing from us. Nothing. Rip. Hey, we got one. So do you think they're munching or they fall off? I feel like they were like, there's a lot of bones They were on in there it. pretty good. I would say maybe a little bit of both. Gotcha. Rip. That's all right. One out of two isn't bad. We've got two more. I think one more right over there. And then we've got one more way further south on the north end, if that makes sense. And then we got to go on the way south side and we've got two more on that side. So stay tuned. Well, this one got pulled way sideways from where we put it, so that's either good or bad. I don't know. Let's go see what we got. <laughs> Sheesh, that's not where we put it, son. We put her out down there. Yeah, give her a yank. Come on. You can't tell me it just naturally floated way to the oh, side. Oh, I see it yeah. swimming. No, you got one. You have one? Or is it the weight? So. Nothing on hook one? I don't know. No. Dude, we got cleaned though. It feels like this the weight bouncing, but I don't know. I see some bait fish moving over there. Is it just the weight? No, you got a fish. You got a fish. You got one. You got one. You got one. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, you got one. Let's go, buddy. It's a big one too. That's a big one. Big Sheila right there. Woo! Yes, go. It's like hooked in the top of it. Yeah, it's barely hooked. It's a blue. Yep, drag her there up on. Go. What up, buddy? I didn't even fight. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, that's not a really. Yeah, buddy got him good there. He's a little rough looking, isn't he? Yeah. That was the last one, I assume, right? We don't have a. Yep, that's the weight. We got two, baby. Dude, the time. blues. They're dialed over here. Look at that guy. I'd say he's. Oh, oh, hey, easy there, pal. Hey, easy. Hey, 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 watch that hook. Watch that hook. There you hey, go. Hey, you got it. Now you got him. Now you, you got him. Now you got him. You got him. You think that's probably about the same size? Yeah. Maybe his head's a little bigger. Hey, his body ain't that big. Who's hey, winning? You or the fish? Hey, hey. Oh, you got it. Sheesh. Dude, that head's huge. Why does his body look yeah. so small? He's almost built like a flat head. I yeah. don't think it is, though. It could be a little flatty. It's kind of, I'm not really great with the catfish. It looks like a blue. It don't really look like a flat head, but the head is so much bigger than the body. Because he's not as blue. He's like a little more in that like brown tan looking. Yeah. Oh, God. Rip. Well, what do you think? I think Buddy's floating. You floating? <laughs> he didn't even notice. Should we release that guy? What do you I don't think? Know. What are you thinking? Well, why don't we just go? We can throw him in the well and we'll see what he looks like compared to the other guy. Okay. Where are you going, Junior? You're floating away. <laughs> yeah, just toss them in and we'll lift them both up. We'll see which one we want to keep. Honestly, we'll probably keep the smaller one because both of them have plenty of meat for lunch. Hey, hey, you settle down there, buddy. I'm wet. Really? Let's go ahead and reel this thing in and we'll compare the two. And whatever's like in worse condition, smaller, less opportunity to thrive as a kitty cat, meow, we'll end up keeping. All right, Banjo, you caught Big Daddy. We didn't realize the difference. Do you think it's a flathead or? I think it's, no, I think it's, I think it's a blue. This guy is lunch because he's skinnier. He's not doing quite as hot. This guy's going back in the drink. You go, Big Sheila. You go make some babies. I want to see this big girl. It's almost the color of like a channel. It's not quite as blue. Come on, girl. You got it. Give me a good tail kick. Oh, there you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, there she goes. Sheesh. We're keeping the small guy for now for lunch. That's a good eater size. Like he's so much skinnier than that other one. That's gonna make some good catfish bites. <laughs> Little nuggies. Let's go check the rest of the lines. All right, fourth spot, folks. Last one on the north side of the river. So after this, we're going south, which is where I think it goes better. But we've done pretty good, honestly. Two, two out of three is not bad. This is more in like a little pocket cove. Those other ones were kind of right off the main river. This is like an actual deep hole. Right now, we're in two foot. Okay. By the time we get up there, it should be like, oh yeah, look. You can look on the screen. Look at that drop. See, that's the hole we're after. Doing, doing one of them guys. You see? So is our line up on that branch? Hey, I got tangled just a little bit. It'll be all right. Oh yeah, we're in fifth. Oh my, look at the fish. Look at the fish. Tell me one of them ain't gonna be on this line. Oh, we're getting to. All right, hang on, I'm gonna straighten her out here. We're going in crooked. Coming in hot, just grab the line and hand it right over. Hand it over. Oh, I'm not sure. That one might have had a fish, look. See how Strap. it's all twisted? Yeah. It's a strat here. I'm not feeling anything, but we're hung up now. You want me to push you out or what? Yeah, yeah, let's just go floating out so we can get this unsnagged maybe. Might have a big shield here. We might be hung up on something. Oh, here we go, we got him off. Dude, we got robbed on every hook again. Nothing. Freaking rip. Two out of four. Ain't bad. So we got two more lines on the south side. We'll see you guys there. Rolling up to uh, this is the furthest south spot we got. I was feeling good about them, but I also felt good about the last spot, and we didn't get one there. But we're completely, I mean, we're probably a mile or two downriver from where our last spot was. It's less like beachy sandy. There's not as many pleasure boaters out here. I feel like it's more kitty cat territory. If we don't get an 80 pounder here, I'm gonna be pissed. We need big shield. I want one that stretches across the size of just the whole deck. Big berth is what we're after. So, let's see what we got. Yeah. 
grabbing this one? Sure, you got us? I got us. What do we got? Don't tell me nothing, because I know we got some. Oh, oh yeah. you got one. You got one. You got one. I see the little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that a channel? I think I'm like, oh. It's got kind of a bigger head. It might be a blue or a channel. I can't tell. He's a little guy, though. What up, Squeaky? Meow. That's a channel. Do we have a double? That's the real question. Yup, 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 yup. We got one. We got a double, baby. Dude, this might be. He's head shaking. This gotta yeah, be this blue. This gotta be bigger. It's gotta be a blue. We got a double, son. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. Oh, oh, it's a giant blue. Go oh my hand. gosh. Oh my gosh. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's freaking pissed. He's not happy. Oh my gosh. It's giant. This might be our. Big. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. How you doing, Junior? Hey, easy, easy, easy. Hey, hey, quit death throwing on him. No, no, I no. Look at him. He's like an alligator. Woo! Nice. All right, no triple. Double, dude. Dude, let's go. We were confident that's about this mega, one. That's a mega, dude. That's the biggest cat I've ever caught doing this. I think that's the bigger than the last one. Woo! What up, Big Sheila? How you doing? All right, she's not as big as the deck, but she's a good one. Easy, easy. Ah! Oh, son of a bitch. Come here. <laughs> this girl, she'll beat your ass. Don't bite me either. All right, I got to grab my little one after you get that. Mine's a Throw baby. In the bucket. Let's see yours, Banjo. You got a little kitty cat. Meow. It swallowed it. She gonzo? Little channel, shallow, and then that big girl was deep. She was yep. on this, the third to last hook. She was out there a ways in that big deep hole. You need some pliers? Yeah, if you got them. them oh, I might ones. get it out. You got her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got her. Yeah, that's a little channel, it looks like. Yeah. That's a little too small to eat, so honestly, that's okay. good. We don't need a munch on that guy. No. That guy needs to get bigger. I mean, you can eat them, but we got three beef cakes on board, boys. That's, that's fine. That ain't quite enough, so we'll release that guy. See you later, dude. On the yeah. old double. Woo! Big shit. So that was, what'd we get? That four was fish? Four fish, three blues we in got, the channel. We got one more check, right? We still have one more, and it's, it's, it's the same setup as this one. It's real deep, real long. First double of the day. Hey, Sheila, son. Get on up here. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Look at that big old girl. We're going to release her. She ain't She ain't going to be... Hey, be nice to Banjo. Why are they always talking Why about Why are they me? always saying that? Hey, he's a nice guy. How much do you think that one weighs if you had to give a rough estimate? I'd say between 10 and 15, I would think. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's so hard. Should I lip it like a bass? Sure. Oh, 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 they got teeth. Oh, oh, ah, ah. I never want to hear ah. her make those noise. Dude, you want to feel these teeth, bro? I'm done. Like, I just got shredded. Feel her teeth. You tell me if them aren't the sharpest teeth. I mean, it completely cut oh, me open. Wow. Dude, just barely. they're sharp, bro. Dude, look, I barely touched no, it. Look, like you can yeah. see the ring where it bit. It's like a Heck shark. No. Oh yeah, look at all right there. Kinky. Easy there, girl. Yeah, I would say, I would say that's gotta be closer to the 15 inch. We need to bring a scale after this. I bought, I just bought some scales. Did you? Yeah. I would say 15 to 20, maybe. Yeah. And that's big girl, son. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well, let's take some pics and let her go. Woo! All right, Sheila. I appreciate it. It's your lucky day. We'll make some babies and do Sheila things. Woo! She tore me up good. <laughs> well, four fish out of five lines. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. That double helped us a lot. So let's go check the last and final one, and then we're going to get to cooking. Well, folks, we made it to the last boat. That's actually not a bad beach. We could beach the boat on and do a little catch clean cook. We got one last. Ooh, I saw it. Dude, it's da it's dancing banjo. Zach, you want this one? You reeling this guy yeah, in? I'll pull up. All right, Zach, Zach's reeling this guy in. This is, our, this is our final one. It looks like there might be a fish. I would just grab onto the line knowing we're about tying up. Hey, how's it going? What do we got, son? We under it or no? No, we're all right. You feeling anything? Come on. I think that's a fish. No, is it? Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Really? I want to see Big Sheila. Giant or no? Decent? I Maybe? So. You think it's a fish or do you yeah. think it's the weight? It might be the weight. Uh oh. I feel like you wouldn't be feeling the weight yet. It's a long yeah, it might point. be the weight. You really? think it's the, oh no. You think it's the weight? Yeah. No. We got picked clean. No way. You're telling me there's no fish on there. Yeah. Rip. Rip. Dude, every single hook has, did it get snagged or is it fish? What you got, Big Sheila or no? Snag? 80 pounder? Yeah. Nothing? Oh, come on, done. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Dude, every single hook is missing food. I wonder if the shad, either the shad come off easy or the, maybe the gar eat them. Dude, there was like 17 hooks on that one, it looked like. Big rip. Rip. We got lunch. We can't complain. Oh, yeah. I saved this one because I thought this was the one. I was like, you know, th this is the best spot. I think we probably had them. I think they picked it clean. They won that war. Stole from us. But let's go beach the boat over there and let's get to filleting and cooking. Shee! 
Sheesh, look at the meat, that was on the small guy. Our friend, he's hanging out, he's seen better days. We just got done cleaning, you guys know we can't show you a whole lot, it's pretty easy to clean catfish though. Just YouTube, there's some other YouTubers out there that probably show you. We've got them in a little ice bath here. That was the small yeah. guy. Yeah, we're eating good today. Eating some good old lunch. That's your cutting board. Perfect. We came somewhat prepared, but not super More prepared. than usual. We're gonna go ahead and just gonna do like bites pretty much. I'm trying to think, we did, okay, think about this. There was a video where we did bites, and I think we all thought it was game changing. So much better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's probably what I'm what I'm gonna go with. Is little, little nugs. Little nuggies, some chicken nuggies, like that. I think it's because you can get it to cook, especially in this, because this isn't like a good deep fryer. Obviously we're just winging it on this little one burner. You'll get a better cook out of it. It'll cook quicker, and almost like a flash fry. When it flash fries, it gets crispy, but the meat doesn't get overdone and then get soggy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into little nuggies. We've got some Cajun spiced batter. I'm just going from the water to the batter, shake it up, throw it in, let it sizzle. So stay tuned. Catfish. Meow. This is gonna be some good stuff. So this was second batch, which I think the oil got a little hotter, which is good. It's crispy. This stuff should be cooled off, Bandra. You go ahead and grab yourself a little nuggy. Yeah, I mean, you can't about. talk about it being any fresher. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, the least fishy catfish. This was meowing like 20 minutes ago. It honestly tastes more like, like a bluegill or something than catfish. I don't have any. It's pretty flaky, honestly. It's flaky. Yeah, I think it's. But that batter got nice and crispy. It's super crispy. That's how I like it. I think what, what the deal is, when you make a little nuggies like this, it cooks faster, makes it flakier without overcooking it, but then you get that crunchy, like you can hear Banjo, he's just crunching on it. It's, it's a crunchy outside batter. We didn't put any egg wash or any buttermilk, literally just lake water, threw it in the fryer. That's good. I'm gonna say, we've been killing the catch and cooks this year. It's been doing good. We're stepping up our game. And this this was a simple one. I mean, this is a pre-mixed. We normally we make our own seasonings and batters, which these turn out good. This one's pretty good. It's more, it's Cajun-ish. You know, I want to try something a little spicier, especially with the uh, catfish game, but mm. Dude, it's crunchy, it's flaky. There's no fishiness at all. You killed this one. On top of that, these were my tongs. And yes, I did fillet the fish with this. Sanitary, I know. I washed it off a little. This river is known for dumping untreated raw sewage in it. Yum. You know that, right? Yep. Honestly, for turd catfish, they taste pretty darn yeah. good. You want to try, Zach? Yeah. Get yourself some right there. Dude, this boat. Oh, this yeah. boat's the deal. Oh, God, you're going, you're getting it right there. What do you think about that? Game changer. Dude, the nuggies. The only thing we're missing That's is a little dipping sauce. Go, it's the, the nuggies. No fillets. You even need it. Not even, sauce. not strips, nuggies. You're messing up if you're not doing the nuggy strap. Just to let you know, this was only one side of the fillet. Look, the other, we're saving the other one. We were like, we're not going to be able to eat it all. If we had like stuff to go with it. It's just, it's a lot of fish. We're actually going to save that, put it in the freezer. We like eating catfish even off camera. Like, it's really, really good stuff. So that was only one fillet it is a little spicy man just chugging water it's, it's got good, it's got a little cajun spice too so it's like you i feel like you can't eat too much but it's pretty darn good i mean for this little jank catch clean cook system i mean this little coleman thing comes in like a little case we got a pan that's got you literally used that pan yesterday to hammer in yeah, the pipe and it dented the heck out of yeah. it and it still worked we literally just got some oil some fry batter we're sitting up on the deck hanging out with our best friend whisker having a good time out on the river so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you are already subscribed and stay tuned to the next one hopefully you guys at home enjoy we'll catch you next one and peace